my Cancer, these are going to be your guidance cards for the week of November 1st through November 7th. So your energy for the week, you got the Queen of Pentacles. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is someone who is very responsible, um, someone who's very resourceful. Um, she's very much in charge of her things. She's very organized. Um, she creates her own wealth. Um, but I feel like as an energy for the week, um, she's also about domestication. Um, so I feel like this has something to do um, with like a relationship or maybe like your home life. Um, I feel like that's what the energy is for the week. And then a challenge or an obstacle that you might face, you got the Four of Cups. Um, so the Four of Cups is where he's kind of sitting here. Um, he's looking at his three cups down here. There's someone offering, you can see the universe is offering him a new cup here. Cups are usually love. So again, I do feel like this has something to do um, with some sort of relationship. Um, but he is not looking at the new cup. His hands are crossed. It's kind of like he can't decide. Um, Four of Cups is undecisive. Four of Cups could be too, like, blocked. Um, so you could be feeling blocked. In that A block that has something to do with love or receiving love. And I feel like that is your challenge or obstacle this week. And then a lesson that you've already learned that can help you with that challenge or obstacle this week, you've got the Two of Wands. Um, so the Two of Wands is where he's waiting. Um, he's kind of looking out here. He's got the world in the palm of his hand, but he's waiting for something to come in. Um, he's waiting. Um, I feel like to, if there's two different decisions to be made, or like a choice between two different things, I feel like he's clearly expecting um, this one. And that's why he's facing that way with his offering in his hand. Um, I feel like he thinks that that's the one um, that's coming. But the Two of Wands... Um, as a lesson that you've already learned could mean like to be patient. Um, it could mean that you are in a waiting period and you know how to do this patiently. Um, two of wands is you're waiting for some sort of result, um, some sort of choice to be made. So I feel like as it's a lesson or something that can help you that you've already learned, um, I feel like it's saying that um, be patient in making this decision. Um, maybe make sure that you're looking at all your cups and what this new offer is. Make sure you're seeing what all your options are. And then the outcome for the week, you got the moon. Um, so the moon is all about your emotions. Um, the moon is about like um, your emotions sometimes being up or being down. Um, the moon too, um, I just want to say I seen this um, picture earlier today um I just want to see if I can pull it up real quick all right it's totally not pulling up um but it said something like um the moon um like instead of being the sun for someone and um, bringing in like this great big bright um, joy um, it said something like um, why not um, be there for someone's like darkest um, moment um, so I feel like it could have something to do um, with having some sort of support um, in your dark moment so it could be that um, in dark moment doesn't have to be like it's necessarily bad. Um, okay, so it says everyone wants to be the sun to brighten up someone's life. But why not be the moon to shine on someone's darkest hour? So I feel like as an outcome, like it could be um, that these decisions that you're having a hard time um, finding. I feel like it does have something to do with your home. It could be like a relationship um, these, this choice that you're waiting on making, um, I feel like the outcome for the week is, um, your emotions, um, it could be an emotional week, but I do feel like, um, I don't think it's a coincidence that I've seen that other picture and then you get the moon, so I feel like, um, clearly someone, you could be having a hard time here, you could be, um, having, um, a dark hour, um, where you're having this tough decision, but I do feel like, um, someone could be coming in, um, on an emotional level that could help you, um, even if it's just to sit with you, um, during that moment. 
and then your um, guidance for the week from the Dreams of Gaia Tarot that kind of help you tie all this together. You got the Ten of Earth. Um, so the Ten of Earth is always about um, taking the mask off, showing people who you really are. Um, so it could be that that's the guidance it's trying to give you. Like it's telling you um, that maybe you're having these difficulties because you're, you're kind of pretending to be someone different. Um, and it's just saying be yourself. Um, this could also be a guidance in a way that if there is two um, different decisions, um, which cup of love you're trying to decide to choose from, it could be saying that you need to take their mask off. Um, you need to see them for who they really are. All right, Cancer, I feel like that is your guidance for the week. I hope you have a great week, and thanks for watching.